Today I got my Google account hacked by the Russians. No joke. So the DuckDuckGo CEO sent out a tweet that they, quote, at DuckDuckGo are rolling out search updates that downrank sites associated with Russian disinformation. DuckDuckGo. So DuckDuckGo is- uh, But some people have been saying that they've started using DuckDuckGo. So DuckDuckGo downranks Russian disinformation. The search engine users are not happy. This is a very dark day indeed. DuckDuckGo has started going down a dark path. Chief Executive Gabriel Weinberg tweeted Thursday the search engine would rank websites, quote, associated with disinformation lower in search results. I would probably jump off of DuckDuckGo. Let's make DuckDuckGo hurt a little bit and maybe they'll like, huh, maybe we should not censor stuff. DuckDuckGo? More like DuckDuckGone. <laughs> Got, Got him! him. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> I was doing my rounds on Lay YouTube, and I couldn't help but just look and see all of these people telling me that DuckDuckGo is censoring results and everything. And it's like, oh, that's that's really interesting. So I decided I was going to come out of my hidey hole after the scarring thing that was that Apple event that no one watched our video for. And maybe I should get high and watch this next time. <laughs> witness the, the the anger that just uprose from a string of tweets that came from the interwebs. So this is a tweet from Le Gabriel Weinberg. Gabriel Weinberg is the CEO of, of DuckDuckGo and he has a very nice Twitter handle of YEgg. When, when it came down to it, everyone goes kind of circles back to this one tweet and one other news article, which I'm gonna get, with in a mo get to in a moment. At DuckDuckGo, we've been rolling out search updates that downrank sites associated with Russian disinformation. Is this a foreseeable problem in the future? Certainly. I think search everyone says that so I don't want my search engine to be sent to censor me or censor the things I look for. Okay, fine, whatever. But here's a reality that I think everyone has to come to grips with, okay? It's two big ones, all right? There's one other... We're not seeing the whole picture here. There's a couple things happening at the, at the moment, right? This impetus of DuckDuckGo making this tweet comes from, in my mind, two things. These two things compound on top of each other. It makes me believe that most people don't leave the anger, hate circle bubble that Twitter is, and they don't venture out and actually try to research what's really going on here. But this all stems from this, a New York Times article, which came out a few weeks ago in February, which just says, Fed up with Google, conspiracy theories turn to DuckDuck theorists turn to DuckDuckGo. Look at the outrage streamed through the mountain that is the internet. And look, they even Joe Rogan said a thing. What is the point of this article? There, there, on a, in my mind, there is no point to this article. This is just a bunch of stupid opinionated filler fluff that's lumped into all of the normal news articles and because mainstream media outlets cannot talk about technology properly and this they put this in the middle of the article so this is why why what got me really pissed off okay in the statement dr go said it condemned acts of disinformation and said its company's internal survey showed that users had a wide mix of political orientations the company said it was also studying ways to limit the spread of false and misleading information. But they just skate over this fact and just say, look at DuckDuckGo spreading misinformation. They must be evil. They're spreading ideas that are disinformation or ideas I don't like. These two things combined, all right? This one tweet, because everyone is so self-absorbed into Twitter, I wish I could get 31,000 comments on a tweet, but no, I only get zero. And then New York, a New York Times article, which is basically just someone spouting their opinion instead of actually trying to contribute something useful to the conversation. I'm Stuart Thompson, and I'm a technology reporter for The Times. As far as I'm concerned, most of this article and all the people they're covering are just a bunch of nonsense, okay? Yeah, I mean, what, what, I what agree. I, what I really want to focus on is people only focus on these two things. But when I was reading this article, you scroll down this entire article here, right? They only briefly cover it here but i think this is an important thing to think about okay all right you go to duck the lay duck duck go website uh, this is one thing i want to bring up nowhere in their privacy policy is it mentioned that the results that you get from duck duck go are identical to bing's 
search results for the most part. I know it is they have their own crawler. I know they used to have a partnership with Yandex up until this point. Y'all, you're all you're all weebs. You like anime. We're looking up anime. <laughs> so if you go to to anime on DuckDuckGo, right? Pay attention to the results here. I'm going to open a new window and then you go to Lei Bing, the Bing that no one uses and you look up anime. Huh. Aside from this autocomplete here, these results look uh, look really, really similar. Huh, I wonder whether the videos are the exact same. Huh. I wonder why that is. And it's because DuckDuckGo uses Bing algorithms for the vast majority of their stuff. Now, why are you bringing this up, Matt? I'm a smart, educated, edu educated individual. I know all of these things already. Uh, I, I know that the this article is full of nonsense. I don't look at Twitter. What's your point? Before DuckDuckGo made this statement, Microsoft said they were going to start changing the results on people by downranking a lot of uh, Russian news websites. Now, when your search algorithm is controlled by the big, big old Bing, who who is the ruler, the ruler of all, all things DuckDuckGo for the most part, because these results are just the exact same thing. They're literally the exact same thing. The so, th so your argument is that it's not that DuckDuckGo is censoring results. It it's that Bing is censoring results. Exactly. And I think that's the point that a lot of these, a lot of these journalists, I say journalists in air quotes, you, you hear, you hear that Stuart? I'm Stuart Thompson and I'm a technology reporter for the Times. I want to talk about this one thing, okay? This is an article from 2016 from the meme man himself, Richard Stallman. Join us now and share the software, you'll be free. Who said that DuckDuckGo also censored results about some reportedly some sort of like celebrity gossip in like the the, the uk i i have no, i know nothing about this i just know about this because i'm an old man and i happened to read this in his rss feed one one morning read this addendum at the end this is from may 22nd 2016. it appears that duckduckgo inherits sent this censorship from yahoo the company might want to take some steps to detect specific examples of search result censorship. And he misses, misspells it here because Censor, sen 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 censorship. censorship. <laughs> when some items appear when searching for Yahoo or ABCD, do not appear at all in a search like ABC without D and fix them. And I think this is an important point to bring up because uh, at least, I don't know about you. I, I, I need to ask you about this because I've certainly experienced this myself. If I perform the exact same search using Google, let's say I just go to Google and look up lay anime. But if I go to start page and look up lay anime, start page is clearly doing something different with whatever I am putting in, despite using the same algorithm that Google does. At least in my mind, right? Uh, yes. Maybe anime is a poor example because it's really broad. But you can see here that like, well, I mean, it would need to be something that's like vaguely controversial. Yeah. Per se. But, and one interesting thing here is uh, Funimation is included here, but nowhere here do you see Funimation at all. Interest. Is that because they got bought out and now they're just part of Crunchyroll? <laughs> I don't know. And so Google's like, oh, well, why would you need to go to Funimation? Because it's just part of Crunchyroll now. I don't know. Which is but kind this of is, Big Brother making a decision of, for yeah, me. This is part of but again, this this is this is another point I have about this whole this whole debacle, whatever you want to call this. Search engines are just inherently biased. Not only are they because they have to like Startpage had to make the decision to include Funimation here, right? They don't just like Well I, they had to make mm, yeah. a decision that resulted in Funimation being contained there. I, I doubt that they specifically searched anime. And I mean, they might have because it's a common word and they probably do do like checks on their own search results. But but like for the average search results, whatever it is that you search is probably entirely novel. And so you're just following a step like a set of rules for searching some or for for displaying some list of information and i think they certainly had to have rules that resulted in funimation being displayed 
this all gets into another point that I have. Everyone who says, we need to leave DuckDuckGo, DuckDuckGo is censoring my search results and they're evil, I need to jump ship and go somewhere else. Do you want me to tell you the, the real sad truth about search engines? There are only four search engines. The only search engines that exist, and I mean really exist in the real world, I mean, everyone knows Google. Everyone knows lay Google, okay? Google is, what, 90%, Google 92% the search Yahoo. market? Yahoo. No, Yahoo doesn't exist either. And I think it's another misconception. Yahoo uses Bing. So the real number two in all this is Bing. Because Bing is the is actually the web is actually what the, number two in the world. What are the other two? Yandex and Baidu? Yandex and Baidu, everybody. Uh, nope, there's a fifth. Brave. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> people don't actually use it. It exists. The search engine. It, exists. it exists, but people don't use it. Like, if we're being wholly honest, like, in terms of, like, the volumes of people who use, who use Google, or Bing, or Yandex, or Baidu, no one uses, no one uses all of these other search engines. What the reality is, all of these, like, little search engines that you've never heard of in your entire life, like DuckDuckGo, or Start, like, DuckDuckGo, or StartPage, or Brave, or whatever, yes, even though Brave would would like to tell you that they are lovely and independent and all that, when you go and search stuff on Brave and you you pay attention to the to the at least to the fine print, right? They're actually using search results pulled from Google and Bing and Mojik. They're not. Yes, they have their own crawler. Uh, so they're at least mostly independent. They're just pulling results from other places. Some results from other places. There's no originality in search engines. There's only four. And this lack of diversity is another is the real thing people should be angry about. Ultimately, people only want one search engine. People don't want a dozen different search engines that they have to use because, like, why is it that you go to a search engine in the first place? Well, you want an answer to a question. Like, basically everything that you've ever typed into a search box can be can be summed up as you wanted an answer to some question. Whatever it is. And I think that the misconception that a lot of people have, or at least maybe the discommunication, miscommunication between, uh, between search engines and users and, like, various subsets is what is the ser the search engine optimizing for and i think some of the search engines are optimizing for for accuracy for your search term whereas google i think at the end of the day is optimizing for truth or at least they're trying to to some degree it then would make sense if you have something like vaccines uh or vaccines being dangerous where where we know that's not true. And so they don't show you as many of those results because they're trying to optimize a true thing. Where there is an argument for Google's censorship and where Google does have proper censorship is when there isn't necessarily a hard line as to it is this or it isn't that. And there are things that that Google will turn down the results for, even though the because it's it's not the popular opinion, which doesn't mean it's necessarily the wrong opinion. To sum this up, people are are jumping ship on DuckDuckGo because they are afraid that DuckDuckGo is censoring things when in fact they've always been censoring things because they're based on Bing. Yes. Is it so it just all comes and it all comes back to just this one New York Times post that everyone is is like like crowding around or like the like the right the big right wing personalities or people in general just not understanding how that there's only four search engines and that all of these search of all these diverse search engines leech off of the big four. Maybe what we need is we need a search engine that optimizes for accuracy. But then even that's going to be biased because who's the audience of that search engine going to be? Everyone. Even, but even everyone is biased. The major that's the majority rule.
I mean that that is that is that is true. I mean I'm so I I don't know if I think the sky is green, I and I disagree with you, and I think the sky is green. I'm going to search why is the sky green. I'm not going to search why is the sky blue. I'm going to search why is the sky green because I think the sky is green. In which case, what does the search engine then do? Does it search for what it thought I meant because no one searches for why the sky is green? Or does it search? Does it just give me results for the sky being green? Or does it uh, does it give me results for the sky being blue because the sky is actually blue? And if you didn't know the sky is blue, I'm 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 very sorry that I I I, I shook you your world. Could have Dura Neurotopia, Tri Neurotopia, I, I, whatever. Yeah, whatever the green the is color, like a... whatever blue color blindness is. It's the rarest one. The truth is, there's only four search engines, and when you when it comes down to it at the end of the day, and you look at all of these, the endless row of like cringy tweets that you see when you scroll down this one thing saying how evil, how obviously evil they must be, and this stupid article which says DuckDuckGo is complicit in spreading misinformation because the right wing uses them. It's like, come on guys, get your no, act together. No, that, that's, that's not true. The takeaway from this is that every search engine you use and basically all the media you consume online is biased in one direction or another. And the thing that you're using's agenda may not align with your own agenda. And that should not be a shock to you. I sincerely that, hope that's, it's not that, a shock that's, to you. That, well, I think it is to some people. Occasionally, I have been frustrated with things like Google before when I realized, oh, Google is working against me because it's, it thinks I'm saying this thing when I'm actually not. And just be aware that that the stuff that you're, that everything that it is that you look at online is curated to some capacity. Speaking of censored, do you want to know what's also censored? The comment section. Please be nice below. I'm going to be looking at this very carefully, so don't say anything mean. And if you're a bot, we'll censor you. <laughs> 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 like this video if you want to censor a bot in your area.